a fourth grade happy friday all right we only have a couple of those left before summertime so pretty exciting stuff all right today for getting ready for fifth grade lesson five we're going to be talking about dividing with two digit divisors okay so instead of one number being on that door knocking we're gonna have two so first thing i want to do is go over our steps to division remember we've got does mcdonald's sell cheese burgers right divide multiply subtract check and then bring down okay same steps can be used whether there's two digits in front four digits same process can be used okay so 60 divided by 12 okay so we look at 12 can 12 go into six no it cannot so what did we put here as a placeholder do you remember what we put here as a placeholder when we were dividing good an x so i'm going to put an x there zero if i subtract i've still got 60. all right can 12 go into 60. yes how many times can 12 go into 60. now that's kind of one of those you got to know your facts things 12 times what will give me 60. five very good so i'm gonna put that five up top 12 multiplied by five is 60 then we subtract 60 minus 60 is zero we check to make sure that zero is less than this number and it is bring it on down but we do not have anything left which means that 60 divided by 12 is just five now that one wasn't super tough because if you know your 12 facts you could have done that without dividing but it's still good to see the process this one however is going to be a little bit better to see the process so let's look at this we've got 135 divided by 15. okay can 15 go into one no it cannot so i'm gonna put an x right there can 15 go into 13. nope so we've got to look at it and say okay 15 times what is going to get me close to 135. well i know that i can do it like this 15 15 and kind of go from there right i personally would stop about right here 15 times 2 is 30. okay 15 and 15 is another 30. what is 30 plus 30 60. Very good. Let me get this thing off my screen so y'all can actually see what I am doing here. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. And then another 15 and 15, another 30 would be 90. Very good. So, so far we've got two, four, six, and we're not quite there yet. All right. If we had another 30, that would be very good 120 still not quite there but if we have another 30 are we going to go over this 135 yes we are so i'm just going to do one more 15 to get me to 135 so now how can i figure out how many times 15 went into 135 yeah, I can just count these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 15 times nine, 135. Then we're going to subtract to zero. Check to make sure this is less than 15. And it is. Nothing left to bring down. So 135 divided by 15 is just nine. All right, now I want to do a different one with y'all to kind of get you a better idea of how it would look without having to do all that crazy mess over there. So let's go ahead and try this one. 
Write this one down on a piece of paper if you have one. If not, go get a piece of paper real quick, pause the video and come back and do this with me, okay? Come on, run real quick. It's for the best, that way you can practice. All right, hopefully you've got paper and a pencil and you're back with me. All right, can 14 go into one? No, it cannot. So we're gonna put our placeholder there. Can 14 go into 18? Yes, it can. How many times can 14 go into 18? One time, very good. So I've divided, I'm gonna put that one right up top. What's my next step? Multiply, very good. 14 times one is 14. Then what do I do next? Good, subtract. 18 minus 14, eight minus four is four. Very good. Then I'm going to check, is four less than 14? Yes, it is. So we're good to go. And now we can bring down this next number right here. Okay, so now I've got 42 and I'm starting my process over, okay? So now I have to see how many times can 14 go into 42? So is 14 one of those things? I just know those basic facts off the top of my head. No, not really. So we are gonna have to go back over here and think to ourselves, okay, 14 plus 14 gets me what? Very good, 28. 28 plus 14, let's try that. Eight plus four is 12. Very good, carry our one. One plus two plus one is four. Okay, so we didn't even have to do it for that long. How many times did I add up 14 to get 42? One, two, three, very good. So I'm gonna put that three right here up top, four times three. Remember when we multiply, we only multiply by the number we just most recently put up top. So four times three is, or 14 times three, goodness gracious, is 42. Very good. Then when we subtract, we get zero and 13 is our answer. All right, guys, great job today. If you need any help, come back to this video. I know sometimes you're going to see problems that you're like, oh, we don't know those basic facts, but there are ways to figure it out. Repeated addition is the exact same thing as multiplication. All right. Try your best and have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Monday.